Hey YouTube, Massachusetts Prepper back at you today. Today we're going to do a, another little knife review. I'm going to be reviewing the Gerber Instant model 30-00284. This knife is made in China. It is an assisted opening knife with an overall length of 7.8 inches. Closed length on this knife is 4.6 inches and it does have a blade length of 3.33 inches with a thickness on this blade of 0 0.12 inches. Now the steel in the blade is stainless steel and this is the 7CR17MOV steel. The weight on this knife is 4.2 ounces, so it's not extremely heavy. The handle is made of G10 with a thickness of 0 0.49 inches. Now the blade on this knife is a modified drop point. It is thumb stud actuated. So you do have an ambidextrous thumb stud on this knife. So it can be opened either right or left handed. The lock on this knife is a plunge lock safety. So see if we can get this in here so you can see as this blade opens the plunger falls into a groove there and that causes it to release as well. Make sure we can get a nice close-up of this for you. You can see how that drops right in there. Now there is a pocket clip on this knife and unfortunately this knife is set up right hand tip down only. There's no other configuration for this knife. Now, right out of the box, this is a stiff knife. I mean, this thing is like it just tore my thumb up trying to open it when it was brand new. The G10 on the handle is really nice. I really like the looks of this knife. Um, the G10 is not overly aggressive. Um, it's not going to tear your pants up. Some some really nice contours on this G10. It's just, just a really nice looking knife. Once you get it broken a little bit, it does open pretty nicely and close. Now, when you're opening this knife, see if we can get this so you can see it. You see the little like torsion bar right there? hard to hold this and get it because this knife is still pretty stiff. But see the way that comes right up and locks right in there? Locks that blade in? Well that torsion bar right here on top is where you get the spring to open this knife. That drops down and swings this blade open to give it the assist. I've heard some other reports on YouTube that that torsion bar has broke. I have not seen that yet myself with this knife. It does have stainless steel inside the G10, um, so it's not just a G10 handle. So, you know, that's where you get that 4.2 ounces of weight in this, um, you know, knife of only 7.8 inches long. The blade on this is a serrated blade with a regular blade. There is a pretty nice belly on this knife. Um, I really like the blade style of this. Um, it, it's got a real tactical look to it. And um, Gerber does kind of classify this as a tactical knife. The overall design, very comfortable in the hand. Um, you can really get a, a nice purchase on this. There is some nice jimping on the top of this and on the blade. Um, on the G10 
handle part, the jimping is kind of rounded, but it's a little bit more aggressive on the actual blade. Now you can get a really good purchase on there. It seems to hold pretty good when you're grabbing a hold of that to do any kind of cutting. Now this blade is kind of sharp, you know, right out of the box. I wouldn't say it's uh, overly sharp. It won't shave the hair off my arm or anything like that. I've tried. Um, it just don't doesn't do it. But overall, the design, the ergonomics on the knife is really good. And with that little plunge lock safety, the blade closes very well. And like I said, once you get it broke in a little bit, it doesn't open half bad. What I ended up doing was putting a little oil right there where that locks in. And by doing so and then working it back and forth, I was able to get it wore enough so the knife would open without too much difficulty. So you do get a pretty good opening on this knife. Now it is quick. When it opens, it, it, it is quick. Um, have I seen faster? Yes, I have. Have I seen slower? Definitely. But the, the plunge lock does give you the ability to bring this back closed one-handed very easily. The things I like about this knife, the ergonomics, um, the way the handle feels in my hand, um, it feels good. The blade design, could they have went with a little bit better steel in the blade? Yeah, they could have. For a $40 knife, uh, because this knife um, was running $39.97 at Walmart, uh, another Walmart knife, but um, so, you know, for a Chinese made knife, that's pretty much what you're going to find for the steel, um, because it is the Chinese steel. It holds a pretty good edge. Can I get it sharper so it'll shave? Sure. I'm going to put in the time. It sharpens pretty easy. And it's going to hold a pretty good edge. But right out of the box, it's not super sharp. <clears throat> so, I really like the blade design. The ergonomics of the handle. The G10 on the handle. And the overall aesthetics of the knife. Uh, I think it's a nice looking knife. The things I don't like about the knife. Even with oil and a lot of work, it's still, you know, you, you feel the pressure on your thumb when you're opening this knife. Do I think they could have went with a better locking system than the plunge lock safety? Yeah, they could have. Like I said, I've heard some negatives about the torsion bar, you know, spring assist in this knife, but I have not experienced that myself. So I'm not, I'm not really going to knock that until I've put in, you know, some a lot of hours with this blade. The other thing I don't like about this is there is no way to change this pocket clip around to make it, you know, tip up. All you have is the right-handed carry tip down. I think in a knife in this price point, they could have given you the option to at least have tip up or at least minimum left-handed carry tip down you know but with this knife you have just right-handed carry tip down and that's a that's a negative for me overall if I was gonna rate this knife on a scale of 1 to 10 I would probably rate it a 7 just because of no versatility in the clip um, overall I like the knife I think it would be a, a good everyday carry knife. It's, you know, it doesn't feel bad in your pocket. Um, the clip holds pretty well, and it is a deep carry clip, so the knife is pretty much invisible, you know, in your pocket other than the clip. Um, I wish they would have, you know, blacked out the Gerber, because anybody that knows the name Gerber is going to know you got a knife or possibly a multi tool in your pocket. So if that would have been all black, that would have been great. I'm going to give this knife about a seven. It's not a bad looking knife. The aesthetics are really nice. Um, all in all, it's not a bad knife. But anyway, that's just my take on the Gerber Instant Model 30-002184, made in China.
So this is Massachusetts Prepper. Until next time, take care.